You're listening to episode 100 of The Catholics of Oz. The Catholics of Oz is a show that is 100 episodes old, where we have discussed and will continue to discuss into the future faith, culture, and what's been happening from an Aussie perspective. Whether it's synods or science, apostolates and apps, providence or productivity, you can hear it right now and into the future on The Catholics of Oz. Hello, I'm Lindsay Sands, and welcome to our very special 100th celebration episode of The Catholics of Oz. We are so excited to bring this to you, and uh, I cannot do this alone. Um, I'm always joined, joined by these wonderful co-hosts of mine. So today, I'm joined by my centenary sister, Caroline Knight. Caroline, how are you today? <laughs> I'm feeling 100. <laughs> Yay. I'm really well. Thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> awesome. And um, he's looking really good for a 100-episode uh, podcast. Uh, look at you. You've done well, Lino. You must have a good moisturizing regime there. Lino Sabol is with us today as well. Lino, how are you? I'm doing well, Lindsay. Hello, Caroline. How are you all? Hi, yes. Lino. Yeah, I'm um, 100 years old. I mean, 100, 100 podcasts. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it. Oh, where's the time flown? Uh, you know, looking, look, thinking back, I think where we started, we were named after a different um, name, you know, before we started this. So then all of us came together and did all the podcasts and everything. And I can't believe it's come to this time. You know, first of all, I'd like to thank um, all of you guys, all, all our families, all our friends, all our listeners. I know we should be saying this at the end, but um, I just want to say before we say that. And also, most importantly, I'd like to thank um, God for um, guiding us and protecting us and... Um, and just giving us positivity in our lives. And I, that's what we mostly are here to do for every our listeners. And um, yeah, uh, uh, this must be an Asian thing or a Filipino thing because a lot of Filipinos look so young. You know, that's, <laughs> that's why I don't Yeah, well, so you've, uh, yeah, clearly. Yeah, yeah. You've, you're doing very well you for look the a, same yeah, as like when we were in grade prep together. Oh, Louis thanks. Yeah, Caroline, the same as you. Lindsay, <laughs> um, I don't know. I've <laughs> only seen you. I've done you for, for Youngs, bro. Yeah. But yeah. I, well, yeah, yeah, I was anticipating yeah, Caroline, coming into yeah. grade prep years before, you know, <laughs> after you guys did. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Feeling a bit left behind because I'm younger than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, here's a fun fact for you the um, episode one of the Catholics of Oz um, was released on January the 17th, 2019. Wow. So, uh, that's, um, that's when this show first started. And we must acknowledge Jerry. Uh, Jerry was with us at the start of our journey and has popped in every now and then for an episode, which is really awesome. So Yay. Um, hey, he's Jerry. still part of the, yep. yeah, part of the, um, the Catholics of Oz family. Yeah. Um, and hopefully we'll yeah. get him on, you know, sometime during the next hundred episodes. Maybe all of them, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, Lena, I felt like when you were giving you a little thanks, I should have put some emotional music in the background over the top mm. of it. So that would, you know, just something, some teary music to so make us all, you know, cry. Days of our lives type music. Days of our lives. Whitney Houston's, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll always there you go. Love you. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, so it's very exciting. Um, we should mention that uh, this episode, if you're listening um, to the audio podcast, it's also being filmed as a video. We are using our lovely webcams and uh, you can go to StarQuest's uh, YouTube channel and you can see our faces as we do this episode. <laughs> and you might even see um, some backgrounds. I've got some balloons and uh, I'll move my head out of the way. A number 100 right there. Yep. And Caroline's got her 100. And uh, Lino <laughs> does have something, but we'll see it at the very end. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll talk yeah, about uh, Yeah, which is good. Definitely, definitely. Um, yep, yep, yep. And we, we might have a few visual goodies um, to share uh, as we go on. Um, and today we're going to share some feedback from some people who have been kind enough to, um, to share with us as well. And we're really looking forward to sharing that with you. And I think, uh, some of, I think one of them you guys will be hearing for the first time. Isn't that right? Like they, yes. Heard all, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Yes. All right, more about that later. Hey. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right, so uh, let's roll on. So first of all, if you're new to listening to the Catholics of Oz, well, welcome to episode 100. You've come at the right time. I've got to say, you've come for our, our celebration. So you're yeah. So pull up a chair, grab a drink and join us. You know, come join us for our celebration. There's party hats in the corner. So yeah, just go and grab one. And, and <laughs> so you can subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, tune in or your favorite podcast player. And while you're there, please remember to give us a five-star rating and some positive feedback because that's how we reach new people. And that's what we're all about is building a community of listeners and, uh, and taking that faith journey together. SQPN also hosts the Catholics of Oz on YouTube, like this episode, especially. And you can subscribe by searching for StarQuest on, uh, on YouTube. 
and then hitting the bell to get new notifications and subscribing. I think I mentioned that uh, to get new notifications when episodes of this show and all of the excellent uh, shows on um, StarQuest are released. So guys, before we, well, let's get started. Why don't we get into it? We've uh, planned a few fun things today with the, with the way we're going to do this. So let's start with Faith Beyond Borders. Well, I'm actually feeling rather good about this. I think we've all arrived at a very special place, eh? Oh. Spiritually, ecumenically. How do you make somebody love you without affecting free will? <laughs> Welcome to my world, son. You come up with an answer to that one. You let me know. Yes, I had to work very hard to pass Latin and theology. Oh, quite. Those are, of course, the most important things. Oh, yeah. I'd sit this one out, Cap. I don't see how I can. These guys come from legend. They're basically gods. There's only one god, man. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't dress like that. So, um, before we start Faith Beyond Borders, I think it's time for some feedback. Are you guys ready for our first mm. one? No, yes, yeah. go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, mm. th- this feels like, um, what is it? Is it, this is your life when you, uh, you play? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, All yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right. So, uh, let's listen to our first feedback. Here it comes. Hello, Catholics of Oz. This is Father Chip Hines calling, member of the board of directors for SQPN. And I uh, just want to say congratulations on a 100th episode c- coming up. And I hope that you have many, many more. You provide us with such great content from down under. And clearly you are making a uh, mark on the Catholic world in Australia and have the ear of your archbishop, which is a wonderful thing. So congratulations once again. God bless you guys. From Boston, Massachusetts. Have a good one. Take care. Have a good one. Thank you so much, Father Chip. We Thank are, you, we Father are Chip. so grateful. Thank yes, you, Father. Um, Father Chip has has got in touch with us from time to time to you know give us some feedback. He was checking on us up on us during the pandemic, which was beautiful. Mm-hmm. So, awesome. um, Father yeah, Chip, thank yeah. you for your you know for your support of our show, your compassion and care, and uh, we love you. Uh, we love that you, you know, that you, um, that you've, uh, you know, given uh, as part of the board as well us a space on on this network. Um, and thank you so much. You can catch Father Chip from time to time on Coffee and Cinema, which he does with um with Don Bettinelli. Um, so I listen. Uh, it was a it's a thing that they do from time to time where they go to the movies together and they review the movie right there and then straight afterwards and they, they have a chat about it. So always a good discussion with those two. Yeah. So uh, are you guys ready for what I've planned for today? Not yeah. really. Yeah, I don't uh, think you are, but we'll, yeah, we'll no. have a go. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, get, we'll have a go. <laughs> I was going to yeah. say, uh, hit me with your best shot, but your best shot could just knock me out here. <laughs> I've a, I've, I have a few shots, all right? So um, Ooh. I'm going to do, do my best. Pew, 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 pew. I hadn't done that. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so what I've prepared is a, is a quiz. Now, this quiz is generally multiple choice, but not always. So good luck with that. Um, now, the, <laughs> luck with that. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's really just a um, you know we've done a hundred episodes and uh, a lot of a lot of good things have come out of it. I just want to know how much you've been paying attention. So uh, wait a minute, that's another do... show. Oh, hold a second. You can't... <laughs> have you been, yeah? Show. Have you paid attention? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, only Sam kidding, only here, kidding. Yeah, yeah, that's right. All the, all the comedians. Love yeah. Sam. Love yeah. Sam. Mick Malloy. Yeah. Get them all on it. Yeah. Oh, um, man, Mick, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. So this is a quiz. Um, I went through um, our, our back catalogue of 99 episodes before this one. Whoa. And I looked at the Faith Beyond Borders topics and, um, and basically just prepared some questions based on those. So okay. they're multiple choice. And so what I'll do is I'll ask the question. And then I'll just get you both to to give your answer. All right. So mm. no cheating. No, go- you can't actually Google this anyway. Um, <laughs> no. And then uh, I'll try and keep score. And I'm just going to type the score in the chat because I. I should- <laughs> <laughs> hey, so anyway. All good. All good. All right. Are you guys ready to go? <clears throat> okay. All right. All right. So. <laughs> Question one. Yes. The the Catholics of Oz premiered with our first episode on the Starquest Network on January seventeenth, two thousand nineteen. In the same year, in episode 10, we discussed if pets can go to heaven after the passing of which famous animal? Was it A, and by the way, these are all real, A, Dip the hairless guinea pig, B, Mocky the bearded dragon, C, Grumpy cat, 
Or D, Paul the Psychic Octopus who made World Cup match predictions. Ooh. Right. I think Grumpy Cat. Yeah, Lino's going Grumpy Cat. Caroline, what about you? Oh, I'm going to go Octopus. You got Octopus? Octopus. Okay. All right. So, uh, they the both answer, ring a bell. Yeah. Yeah, they both, yeah. Uh, yeah I tried, to, I tried <laughs> to make it as hazy as possible. The, the answer actually is Grumpy Cat. So, well done, Lino. There we are. So, Was uh, I was thinking... Lino, I what? wasn't sure what. Come on, Lino and Caroline are Come going to get on. live tally in our chat here. They can see how the score's going. I don't That's feel like up. I'm going to. I know, Caroline. This is, know. Well, Caroline, when the science yeah. the science section yeah, comes Caroline's up, you won't be. You'll have your. You won't be seeing my name <laughs> down there. <laughs> my name ain't going to be down there. Yeah. Um, so it was um. Yeah, it was Grumpy Cat. So after becoming the world's most memeable cat with his mm. very grumpy looking facial features, he sadly yeah. passed away on the 14th of May, 2014. Mm. Um, 2014 his, he died. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So okay. Okay. Yeah, one of his famous memes was, uh, I like long walks, especially when they're taken by people who annoy me. Um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, grumpy Cat was actually love, honored. Here's a fun cat. fact. Um, yeah, Grumpy Cat yeah, was yeah. honoured with a waxwork at Madame Two Swords in San Francisco in 2015. Oh, wow. And, um, uh, and yeah, that okay. episode on If Pets Can Go to Heaven was episode 10, if anyone would like to look it up. So cool, at cool. the end of the first question, the score is <laughs> Lino 1, Caroline, naught. So Caroline, okay, you're getting yourself on the now. <laughs> okay, 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 <laughs> Lindsay. Okay. Come on, guys. Right. Settle uh, down. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> this one. All right. Let's see how we go, how we go with this. So question two. How many books are there in the Catholic Bible? So, is it A, 72, B, 73, C, 74, or D, 75? We're just going to take a stab at this one, guys. Mm. What do we think? What do we think? We need, to, and no phone calls to Jimmy Aiken, please. You've got to. <laughs> Father Corey? Father Corey? Uh, no, no, okay. no, no, no phoning a friend. Oh. All right. um, I'll just take a stab. God. Take a stab at I'll it. I'll go 72. Caroline's going 72. Lena, what are you going? Okay, I'm trying oh, 74. 74. Oh, I'm sorry. You're both wrong. You were <laughs> both. Oh, what, either one short or one too much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so the answer is 73. There is 73. 73. So the, um, okay. Yeah, so, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Protest Protestant Bibles consist of 66 books, mm -hmm. which they Whoa. consider to be divinely inspired. Okay. Uh, okay. By okay. comparison, mm -hmm. the Catholic Bible has um, all 66 plus seven extra books. The additional books in the Catholic Bible are found in the Old Testament, and they include Tobias, Judith, Wisdom, Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach, uh, Baruch, and 1 and 2 Maccabees, which go, takes us to 73 books. And we discussed gotcha. authorship mm, of the mm, Bible mm. in episode 90. All right, ready for cool. some more? Okay. No. I've got a... I've got a <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is an Australian, uh, Australian Catholic uh, question. So okay. which of these mm. did Mary McKillop actually say? All right. So there, I've got four quotes here. She only said one of them. The first one, A, never see a need without doing something about it. B, mm. wherever you go, God goes with you. C, knowing the gospel is knowing God. Or D, a stitch in time saves nine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with A. I, I, a, I'm going to go with A as well. Yeah, right, yeah we're, we're going to go, go with A. Go. Well, guess what? You are both correct. Well Woo! done. It was indeed. Yay! She did say, yeah. never see a need without doing about it. She wrote many oh. letters to her sisters during her travels. Yeah. Many of her quotes come from, from these, including uh, mm. the answer to this question. And we shared a part of her story in episode 15. I think that was Jerry and I who did that one. So yeah. uh, the yep. score now, I'm going to, here we go. Live, live. Here we are. Caroline. <laughs> Oops. Hang on. Lino two. Caroline one. All right. It's getting competitive. <laughs> All right, after three questions. Uh, question four. Recently, Lindsay discussed a Disney Plus documentary in which Pope Francis had a powerful dialogue with a group of young people from a range of different backgrounds. What was the name of the documentary? And it is multiple choice to help you out. So Thank you. Is it, is it A, the Pope listens, B, the Pope speaks, C, the Pope, or D, the Pope answers? Yeah, I watched it and I've forgotten already. The Pope yeah. listens, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going with Pope. I was going to say Pope answers, but uh, your final pope, pope Pope answers. Pope answers. All right. Well, it is the Pope answers. Yeah. Now, oh! now, now uh, I, I could. I wasn't sure that that didn't. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, didn't I make could understand sure. if you're a bit confused, Caroline, because yeah. I did. I did actually that's, call the mm. episode "The Pope Listens" because I think that's, that's what, what I, it was. I yeah. 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 Exactly. So, uh, yeah. I think Same that's here. where I got it. That's why I remember yeah. that part. Anyway. Yep. Right, I remember so the doco. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a beautiful documentary. Well, yeah. It was um, beautiful. So it was, uh, yeah. So, yeah, uh, it was released this year and it features Pope Francis talking to a ra- um, young adults from a range of different backgrounds. And we spoke about this in episode 96. Uh, all right. So the score is now 3 1. I've, I just put Caroline. I didn't put anything, but it's 3 1. I just put my anyway. name there. I just put Caroline. Yeah. All right. There's been a score <gasps> review. Yeah. Yeah. No, we need to, yeah. That's not fair. Yeah. That's not fair. Get, get the octopus. Get the octopus to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <All right>. yeah. <laughs> Who is no longer alive either, anyway. Yeah, yeah poor old Yes, old but you don't get a point for knowing that. <laughs> no, I oh, What? Oh, I didn't know that. Caroline no. didn't. All right. Oh, what? So, um, question five. The recent 200-year anniversary of Catholic education in Australia was celebrated in which year? Was it 2019, 2020, 2021, or 2022? 200 years of Catholic education. What year was it celebrated in Australia? 19, 20, 21, or 22? These are main <laughs> questions, are they? Yeah. I'm really from you guys. I have such a bad memory, and especially when it's going into specific. Okay, I'm going to say when did, we did talk about this. I'm trying to we think did? about when we talked about it. I will say when last year, 2022. Take a stab at it. Take a stab. Yeah. yeah. Lino's in deep contemplative thought. I, th- I was wondering if you got, we did this during the pandemic. That's all. Mm, when was pandemic? 2020, 2020, or 2020 or 2021? Mm. Okay, I'm going to go for 2020 and 21. Sorry, 21? 20, 21, not 20. Oh my goodness, man. That's like a million years. Oh, from the future. 2021, yeah, right. yeah. All right. I'm going to. So the correct answer was 2021. Yeah. Oh, come Very on. Good. No. You're better yeah. memory than me. No. Lino. I. I <laughs> This is, he's doing well pe- now for that- when he gets destroyed in the science one. No, I know, okay. exactly. I'll be I'll be blurrited. Lena will be zero zero zero. It's like um, <laughs> it's like a, what's it? Like England versus another country in its soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever five zero, another one country. Zero. That's yeah. better than England. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, so the first um the first official Catholic school was opened in October, uh, eighteen uh, twenty one on Hunter Street in Parramatta by Irish priest Father John Terry. The school, hmm. according to Catholic historians, taught 31 students. Today, there are 1,751 Catholic schools in Australia with hmm. 98,000 hmm. staff, although I put an extra zero and there's 980,000 there, but that's not right. 98,000 <laughs> staff and, okay. uh, and 768,000 students. And we talked about this in episode 50 of The Catholics of Oz. So, uh, cool, 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 cool. Lino for. Caroline, you're on the scoreboard. Let's see if we can. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can. One do is that a on. nice number. It's okay. One's a great. It's a good number. Yeah. Yep. I'm thinking of a John Farnham song now, but I know no, that's a different thing. <laughs> <laughs> One is the loneliest. That... Number. No, that's a Beatles song, isn't it? Yeah. Is anyway. it? No, you're right, Caroline. You're right. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. See, I know song, other stuff. See? I know yeah. something. <laughs> yeah. You, you cannot saying. get points for things that are. <laughs> Stop, stop making your own questions. Come up. on, give Caroline that one. That was a great one. Oh. Uh, no, no sympathy oh. points. Um, oh, man. All right, so question <sighs> six. The Catholics of Oz have been fortunate to attend three of Archbishop Commonsoli's Patrick orations, friend of the show I should mention, in recent <laughs> years. Place the topics of these three presentations in chronological order of when he gave them. Now, I'm going to put these, there's three of them, okay? So to be nice, I've put three, only the three that we went to. Um, I'll put these in the chat so you can see them. So they are, the, um, I've put them here, rediscovering, you can't see them, now you can see them, rediscovering <laughs> the young church, the gospel by way of the household, and exile and the family. And maybe the names of some of those might give you a clue of when they happen. So yeah. what was the first one? Well, that, it's actually the second, third, and fourth, because we didn't attend the first one. Mm. Um, so these are the three that we have attended. So what was the first one we went to? What was the second one we went to? What was the third one we went to? So I'll give you... All right. This is where we need some thinking music. Do you want to have Indeed. a stab at it, Caroline? I go, think Caroline. So. Go, go, Because go. I went to right. two of them, and I think I remember mm, the order mm, of mm, mm. All right. how they happened. Let's do it. Yep. It would be bad if I got it wrong. My goodness. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> go for it. C, C first. Right. B, second. And okay. A, third. All right, Lino. So A was this year. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, Lino. Yeah, I, I, I. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Mm. Can't copy me. You just have to. Uh, hold a second. <laughs> I'm not. I'm okay. thinking. Yeah, no, Caroline. Hold a second. 
Yeah, there's only oh, one right you? answer. Yeah, so yeah, there's only one right answer. Tell my, I'm going to tell my listeners. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to tell my listeners right now. Caroline and I went to the same high school, but I never went to Caroline. Hey, Caroline. And primary yeah, school. I didn't go to Caroline. Hey, Caroline, what's the answer to this? No, I know. did not. Because, but did I know not. she'll go, you know, find out yourself. Because you are smart enough to get this right. That's anyway, right. Uh, <laughs> Lino, um, you can Google that on your own. <laughs> see, Chat see this? Chat GPT is in your, in your Chat, hands yeah. as well. Wow, it is. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. And, amazing and we, uh, we, we didn't actually have Google in high school. No, just, we no, hardly had a computer in high school. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay, yeah. um, mm. I'm going... We were lucky to have IRC chat. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I think the yeah. gospel of the way of the household was first. Right. Exile in the family was second. And rediscover- right. rediscovering the young church was third. Uh, Lino is I on think- a roll. Lino oh, is no. on a roll. How did I get yeah. I thought, I yeah, thought right. I know rediscovering the young yeah. church, which we just talked about, but the exile in, and the um, gospel of the household, I think I... Yeah. I remember the one, the gospel of the household first in a sense. Yes. So, mm-hmm. Carol, you just got the order a little bit. I just got up. the yeah. order a bit so, wrong. Yeah. So it was the gospel by oh, way of the right. household. Oh, you're right. Yes. I'm remembering yeah. it the wrong way. Yeah. That's what happened. Then exile in yeah. the family. And you're right, Caroline, rediscovering yeah. the young church was, was this year. Yes. Yeah, it was this yeah. year. Uh, yeah. Yep. So, uh, That's all right. My memory is right. very bad. I'm just proving it right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Caroline, your memory is yeah. awesome. No, it's awesome. bad. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we're on Lino 5, Caroline 1. Let's roll on. Uh, and by the way, so the Patrick Oration happens every year on St. Patrick's Day, and Archbishop Comensoli will give a message to, um, to the Archdiocese and about directions of the Archdiocese and things for us to give, you know, to remind us about, to give us special focus on. Mm, and this year, mm, because it's a World mm. Youth Day year, he focused on young people in the church and, um, and our renewal of our commitment to them um, and rediscovering the power of the young church that we have right here in our archdiocese. And you gave us some beautiful examples. Where is Question, um, the, yep. sorry, Liz, well, where is yeah, you, well, youth day this year? Is it Portugal? Or is it? Yes, I think South, it was. So in South America? Uh, I can't world remember. Youth day 2023. I'm actually thinking about that now. Lisbon. 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 That's oh, Lisbon. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool, 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 not cool, Bri- cool. Not Brisbane, no, Lisbon. If it was in yes, Brisbane, yes, Lisbon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm definitely going to yeah. go up to Queensland for... Um, Before Australians start booking their tickets for Brisbane to see the Pope. No, no, um, no, it's not happening in Brisbane. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, so question, we're up to question seven. Oh, this should be, well, you should get a point out of this, guys, all right? Um, unless you do the dodgy answer. Let's see. The name, <laughs> of the, current, <laughs> the name of the current initiative to set up families of parishes into missions to encourage renewed missionary discipleship in the Archdiocese of the Melbourne is called A, take the way of the gospel, B, walk the way of the gospel, C, be the way of the gospel, or D, courage strives for the stars. (laughs) 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 And need to explain what the last one is. I did did, did actually put that one. We joked about it before the episode, but I did actually (laughs) put that one as a joke answer. So, um... Courage Strives for the Stars was the um it was our college song, good old St. John's Regional College in um in Dandenong. <gasps> and every assembly and every mass, the choir would sing it to the point where after seven years of you know high school education, every student who's gone through knows the chorus to that song. We're not gonna sing it now. <sighs> no, but I know no. what's playing please, in all three please. of our heads. It's in my oh, head. Sorry. That's enough. Yeah. We know uh, it. Yeah. We know I, it. Oh. Yeah. But, you know, 100 episodes in, guys, we've come so far that we can be proud to be who we are. I just, all right? There you are. Oh. All right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So true. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, it is. All right. It is. Jokes aside, let's get serious. Tell me the answer to that question. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm Do going A. Again? Is it a? Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm, okay. going, yeah. I'm going A as well. Yeah. All right. right. Well done, guys. Archbishop Common Soli will be very pleased with both of you. It is indeed take the way of the gospel. So very good. All right. So that puts Lena on six and Caroline on two. All right. Yay, so Caroline, we are, two. <laughs> we are going for consolation points now, Caroline. Here we go. All right. So um, number eight. At Pope Benedict XVI's funeral, an interesting Australian connection was noticed. What was it? Now, I'm not going to um, give you any multiple choices for this one, but I, I will drop clues if I see that you're struggling to come up with an answer. So there was an Australian connection at Pope Benedict the Sixteenth's funeral. What was it? I think the garment he wore in Australia, he was buried in with. 
We'll just leave that hanging there for a moment while Caroline has a think. It rings a bell, but I just can't put my finger on it. I told you my yeah. memory's no good. <laughs> that's <all> right. <laughs> right, yeah, that's all right. When you tell uh, me, I'm going to remember it. All right. You, um, I mean, Lino's answer was pretty good if you want to take his. Okay, I'll go with Lino's. <laughs> <laughs> well done, you guys are both correct. Yay! <laughs> yes. Um, so, um, yeah, Pope Benedict XVI, he had requested in <clears throat> his, his will or whatever, his you know, final requests um, <clears throat> that... <clears throat> He was buried in his red chasuble that he wore at World Youth Red, Mass. red. Yep. Well, you, uh, if you told me a question of what color it was, I would have got that wrong too because I thought yeah, it was I'll, green. I'll leave out the <laughs> color. Yeah. I think it was um, green in my head. Yeah. I, was. I don't think I've ever seen him in green, but anyway. <laughs> no, I don't, for some I had something sure, in green yeah. in my head. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, and that was um, and that was because he had enjoyed his time in Australia at that World Youth mm, Day, and he so wanted nice. to, uh, yes, yeah. to um, to wear that one. So yep. we are yeah. two questions away. Yeah, may he rest yeah. in peace. Yeah, beautiful, yeah. beautiful yeah. human. It's Question good. nine. Now, oh, this one actually. So, I mean, Carolyn, there's a chance you might be able to catch up here, right? And maybe if the two of you, I don't know if you've got a pen and paper, if you want to type, if you want to type this, I should have thought of this beforehand, right? <clears throat> um, before we call out, name as many guests as you can that we've had on the show, and I'll give you one point for each guest. So, anyone who has not been Lindsay, Caroline, Lino, or Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll give you. I'll give you one point. Uh, do you want to just take a moment to write or type these so that we don't? Um, so that uh, I can give you points honestly. I can think than of yeah, three I off one. the top of my head. Caroline's got three. Yep. All right. Do you uh, take a second? In the meantime, I'll just distract everyone. Well, okay. I, I love that our video is going to have your typing faces. Look at the concentration. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah. Maybe I should play Code Strides for the stars. <laughs> like, yeah. Maybe not. Yeah. Uh... I'm so, probably get his like, wrong, wrong his name last name wrong here, but anyway. All right, let's see how we go. If it's if it's fairly close, I'll I'll give it to you. We'll see how we go. But um, I'll repeat the question and then we'll get your answers. So, name as many guests as you can that we've had on the show. I'll give you one point for each guest. All right, and this goes all the way back from uh, episode oh, yeah. six. Uh, up to uh, the most recent one was eighty six. We had a guest. Oh, by the way, I should mention um. I forgot mm -hmm. to mention these. Just going back very, very quickly, we spoke about the, uh, for question six, we spoke about the Patrick orations in episodes 52, 75, and 95. We spoke about take the way of the gospel in many episodes, but especially in a special focus on it in episode 65. And Pope Benedict the Sixteenth Australian Connection, we spoke about in episode 89. So uh, let's go, guys. Um, I'll try and count on my fingers if I can. Who wants to go first? Okay, I have. All right. Five. Now, Lino, no eight. cheating, all right? You can only use your okay. own list, all right? Yep. Okay, <clears throat> go for it, Caroline. <clears throat> all right. Got, did you say Lindsay has five of them? Oh, I didn't say how many. No, I just said how I many. Have. Okay, okay. okay. How many, okay. How many okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Okay, my bad, yeah. my bad. Okay, sorry right. about how many times they've been on, just how many we've been on. <laughs> yeah, true, <laughs> true, true, true. Caroline, do it. You want me to go? All right. Yep. Uh, Archbishop Peter Comensoli. Too easy. Uh, mm -hmm. Carlo Broussard. Yep. Oh. Uncle Gillard. Oh. Yep. Father Corey Steaker. Well, ooh, technicality. So we were on mm. his show. Mm. Oh, it was we published talked to him. on our it was yeah. published on our stream. All right, I'll yeah. give you that one. All right, yeah. all right. Father Corey, you can have Father Corey. Cool, and cool, we love cool. him, so you can have a point for him. Yes. And, and Dom Bettinelli. Done. That's five. All right, That's I'll give you those. Mine. Very good. So uh oh Caroline, uh you've just moved up to eight points, which makes you one point ahead of Lino at the moment. So, ooh, ooh, how do I do that? All right. Good. So Lino, good. what can you salvage? Let's go. Well, I've only got three guys. Sorry, I've got right. Bishop Let's hear Peter it. Soli, Done. Dom, and the yes. Aboriginal elder you talked to about yes. the his name yeah. is I can't remember his name. Mm, what do you Caroline's think? Caroline's got this one. Caroline's got this one. Your your quiz, you decide. <laughs> 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 I've got my dog just down here. I'm just going to consult with her one second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, all right. So, Luna is a compassionate soul. She's going to give you the three points. Oh, Lino. Yay! So, um, so, all right. So cool. the score now awesome. is, uh, is Lino 10 and Caroline 8. So Ooh, we're yeah, cool. yeah. Awesome. Yep. So, oh, it's a bit better. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can finish with some dignity. So, um. Just very quickly, so uh, we had Father Rob Gallia in episode six. Oh, yes, Father Rob. Oh, I Father forget. Rob. Oh, my goodness. Carlo yes. Broussard in episode 21. 
Uh, Dom, the CEO of the network, Dom Bettinelli, has been on episodes 32, 59, and 86. And we've done the, um, you know, the state of the network with him going through the shows mm-hmm. and how the network's going. Father Don Calloway on oh, episode yes, Father 42. Father Calloway. Yes, yep, I remember that. Where we talked about his, um, his book on St. Joseph. Yep. Uncle Gilar Michael Anderson, you mentioned mm-hmm. episode 61. And Archbishop Common Soli, of course, 36 and 58. And we are, we'll have to try and get him on again this year. There's a lot yes, of church stuff to talk about. A lot <laughs> yeah. Of, yeah, yeah, there's a, a lot of topics that I'd like to um, yep. get his perspective on, which would be good. Yep. yep. Final question. Here we go. So, uh, all right, final question. So, uh, now this one. It comes from a personal gripe that I have with the two of you. Okay, so I apologize oh, no. for the, Here we the, go. the, the animosity Here we go. behind this question. All right, that, animosity, yeah. Lindsay. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know we had it. Oh, oh, goodness, I've got some, on here. I've got, some, I've got some unfinished business, and this is how I'm going to get it off my chest in our 100 all right. episodes. All right. Question <laughs> ten: How many times has Lena and Caroline ditched me to host <laughs> an episode on my own? On my own. So, um, was it? one episode was it two episodes was it three episodes was it four episodes now just as a caveat so you don't get confused it's not how many episodes have i done completely by myself but how many have i hosted where the two of you have both not been present wow okay where the no, us, or just so no, where, where both of you were not present and it was just uh, me okay right, but not but by yourself I, but when it, but when it was just me, I wasn't necessarily always okay. on my own. There okay, would, there'd, okay, there'd be okay. someone else. So, yeah. yeah. Mm. So, was it one, two, three, or four? I should make this a sudden death because, you know, I'll be really happy to get this. I, yeah. I think it's yeah. been four. Take a stab, all right? Lino's locking in four. Caroline? I can remember. Well, my memory's no good, but I, I think two. <laughs> this is a hard question. Yeah, yeah. no, I think two. Yeah. Two? All right, you guys Might don't care more. about yeah, okay. you guys don't care about me clearly because they're, they're both wrong, guys. It was three, all right. Three. It was three oh! episodes where yeah. I slaved on my own because you were either you were either sick or on holiday. Oh, well, holidays! Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. No, it yeah. is. Yeah. That was three. So thank you for carrying was, the team, Lindsay. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Lindsay. Lindsay. Um, yeah, thank well, you. you know, it was a it was a hard, you know, effort. Someone had to toughen up and do it. <laughs> yeah, and I yeah, made yeah, some yeah. concrete, and I did it. All right, yeah. Um, <laughs> concrete. So, <laughs> so um, episode forty, uh, where I talked about sharing the song of Jesus, and that was on my own. Um, episode eighty five, where um, where the topic was, Pope Francis had said something about marriage, and we talked about it. And Jerry came back for that episode, which was really good. So we had Jerry yeah. back there. Okay. Yep. Yep. And yep. then uh, the, the following episode, so it was like two episodes in a row, episode uh, 86, uh, where yep. I did an episode with Dom doing the state of the network. That's so, right. Uh, Got it. Yeah. Yep. 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 So that's the end COVID. of our quiz. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I, I think, Caroline, actually, like in all seriousness, that was the winter where you were very, very. I think unwell. I had a very like, bad yeah. last had year. A very was bad terrible. Yeah. Last year. Yeah. 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 Wow. And it's yes. good to see you're having yeah. a much better one this year. Well, so. Let's, let's pray crossed, it stays and that I'll way. keep praying yeah. that it keeps yes. staying that way. Yes, yes. exactly. Definitely, right. definitely, definitely. <laughs> yep. So the final score is pretty close. So uh, you, that's Yay, really good. It's, for, um, yeah, it's better. That's better. That's um, better. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Got the silver medal, Caroline, on eight points, and uh, <laughs> and the gold medal, Lino, on ten points. So well done. You guys know enough about the podcast. So well done. Here go. <laughs> we will do. You will. Yeah. 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 You know, I, I feel yeah. the score, and I think to my coach and all my people are thinking, how did it happen? You meant you were so far ahead. Why do you let this person come back? <laughs> but I was thinking, she's so good, coach. She's so no. good. She comes back. So good. Uh, yeah, what yeah, can I every, do? <laughs> every team, every player has their second wind, and that's just what happens. That's, it. that's right. Yeah. And that's right. All right. Well, let's uh, let's finish it up there, Caroline. We're going to throw it over to you now. And uh, okay. now it's time for some revenge because Caroline <laughs> is going to take us through <laughs> a bit of science. Ah, what a fine day for science. Do you have any hobbies? I collect spores, molds, and fungus. Can you reverse the polarity? I'll do my best. Science, 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 science. Yeah, I like science. Uh, and before we do start with some science, Caroline, I'm just going to start uh, go play our next uh, our next voice. So let's go back to uh, This Is Your Life. Are you guys ready for this one? Yes. Yeah. And here it comes. This is Don Bettinelli, CEO of StarQuest Media. And I want to offer my congratulations to Lindsay, Carolyn, and Lino for reaching 100 episodes of The Catholics of Oz. 
All of us at StarQuest Media are so proud of you for reaching this milestone, and we look forward to many more episodes to come. Personally, I'm grateful for the work you all do to explore our Catholic faith from your particular perspective, and to do so with grace, love, and good humor. Carolyn's science segments are so good, I asked our team to give them their own podcast called Let's Science, which everyone can find at sqpn.com slash science. Lino's infectious laugh always gets me smiling as I listen to the show. And of course, Lindsay is a fellow sci-fi geek who, like me, loves all the great franchises. And so I love to hear him geeking out about the latest Star Trek or Star Wars show or film or <laughs> Bosch. So thank you once again. And as they say in Poland, Stolat, may you have a hundred more. Yay. So uh, thank you so much for that, Dom. Thank, yeah, you, Dom. Guys. Yeah, thank you, Dom. Thank you, Dom. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Very gracious. So, yeah, so there's a shameless plug for our other show, Let's Science, yes. <laughs> so, uh, yes, which is great. Yeah, and yeah, thank you, Dom, for uh, for giving Caroline that opportunity to to um, put that voice out in other places, which Definitely. is really nice. Yeah, uh, yeah. because yeah. now it's good to see mm. people interacting with the Let's Science chat on Discord yeah, as well. Yeah, it's is, really yeah. good. Um, we had some feedback recently on YouTube that I, I actually forgot to mention in our last episode. Um, one of the listeners loves um, when you do like the you know ancient animal. Uh, uh, episodes yes. as well so cool. it's, and that was what we did cool. there um the ancient drop bears in australia yes. so. <laughs> one of my, yeah. that was even yeah. though i had That's a very grizzly throat that day uh, it was yeah. actually one of very my well. favorite topics, yeah it was so. yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah definitely and, uh, definitely yeah and I think Lino's um, infectious laugh is self-evident. We've, yeah, yes. yeah, we love Lino's laugh. You, we've yeah. always said you've got the laugh for radio, so it's uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. fantastic. I love to thank all the um, uh, radio presenters of um, you know other other radio stations of there for my laughter and just bring yeah. positivity in this in this world. That's the cool yeah, thing. Absolutely. yeah, absolutely. And you do that, yeah, definitely. Yeah, thank and um, yeah, thank you. I'd like to thank Don because during the darkest days of lockdowns and pandemic, when uh, I was absolutely Oh, I don't know, Lindsay. broken as a human being mm. when, you were when here SBS... For, you were here for a six, bro. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, SBS promised so much Bosch and delivered oh, okay. nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Nothing okay. at all. They delivered nothing. All right. And Dom, okay. and Dom like, okay. like my superhero, his superpower was to be able to give me access to those episodes. And um, and God bless you, Dom, because you <laughs> saved my life. And, and, I was, and I was able to see what happens next in that next season of Bosch, which I really wanted to see. So, uh... That was really good. So, uh, yeah. Cool. So, yes. Dom, cool, cool, yeah. Cool. Dom actually Thank introduced you. Bosch to me through his uh, wonderful podcast, which I recommend to everyone called Raising the Bets, which he and Melanie do together. Yes. Um, a very relatable podcast. Mm, and yes. uh, he was talking about it. Yeah. And I got curious and uh, I watched it and I got hooked. So, it was really good. <laughs> and I got so hooked that when I tried to find it on, on uh, SBS, SBS or whatever demand. Called, yeah. On demand. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't there. I, yeah. It's it, disappointing uh, when they it, do that. It, it, it's it so, broke my heart. so bad. It broke, yeah. broke my heart. It destroyed me as a oh, person. No. But fortunately, Dom swept in and, uh, and yeah, like I said, he was my hero that day. And, so um, and Dom, that's why we are so happy to do 100 episodes more for you. Because <laughs> 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 you clearly care about your, you know, your hosts on all of your podcasts. So good on yeah. you. Yeah. And in regards to the Let's Science, um, when you said, mm. Dom, that you wanted that to become a separate podcast... I was floored, basically, and hey. so honored to be able to yes. do that. And yep. I want to thank you, Lindsay and Lino, for the times when I've been unwell and I'm unable to do the show and you've taken over for me. So oh, thank good, you. Oh, good, Caroline. No, 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 no. Thank yeah. you so much. And I thank well, the yeah. listeners who enjoy it as well. And I uh -huh. do my best to provide, you know, um, fun topics, um, interesting yep. topics. and. Yep. Yes, so I yeah, thank you cool. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and and Caroline, because of you, Lino and I got to talk about wonderful topics such as self healing Roman concrete. Yes. And, uh, and melting uh, robots. Melting Remember robots. Those? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and last, last our last topic about mushrooms. I'm sorry, Caroline. Oh, mushrooms. I, I, I tried about mushrooms. I yeah. tried my best yeah. to get that yeah. scientific thought through it, but it yeah. just I yeah. tried. I, and I hope Lino through. was a Lino was a real fun guy during that episode. Oh, no. oh! Yeah. No! The puns. The puns. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh. 
you can expect no. the let's nights to be very punny when you two take over. So. Absolutely. Oh, no. Absolutely. I'll, try, I'll try to. Because our, to let's just say our, our <laughs> knowledge of science is more limited than yours, so we've got to fill it in with something to make it fun. So Well, yeah. you do so, an excellent job of it. So yeah. thank you, guys. Thank you, yeah. Caroline. When you, yeah, cool. when you sent us a topic about mushrooms, it literally wrote itself. So that was... <laughs> oh, the, the jokes wrote themselves. I, I should have known, just, honestly. I should have known. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. I just thought it was really cool, and then yeah, you've made it yeah. funny. So that's good. Good. Cool. It's nice. a good to have different angle on science yeah. as well. Yeah, because you know? yeah. science yeah. is fun. Yeah. It should be fun. It is. Fun. It is. Yeah, yeah. It is. we've loved it. it. We've loved the learning over the over yeah. the years, Karen. You've taught me so much about science, which yeah. has been really good. So, yeah. All right. Well, cool. Cool. Carolyn, we're in your hands now. It's time for a bit Ooh. of revenge. Mm. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'll leave this in your hands. Over to you. All right. So for this episode, I wanted to talk about. 10 significant scientific discoveries of the last 100 years. Okay, now this is a bit plus or minus a few years, okay, because I <laughs> think wanted to add, um, include. So what we're going to do with this one is I have a list here of those um, discoveries in chronicle, um, order, chronological order from number one to number 10, Starting number one being the earliest discovery, number 10 being the most recent discovery. Recent. Yep. And what mm -hmm. I've asked mm -hmm. you both to do is I have given you a list of the discoveries with no dates. And what I wanted you both to do is come up with a list of the discoveries in the order where you think they came. So in, 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 an, in the order that you mm. think they were discovered in terms of date, okay, in, right. in terms of the year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from number one, the earliest, to, the num to number 10, and each one I'm going to ask you where you had it on your list, okay? okay. Right. Yep. 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 So, yep. yep. Yes. All good. All right. All good. Let's do it. So starting with number one, the earliest one I had, and I had to include this one because it is a major discovery. It's a bit out of the 100 years, but it's okay. <laughs> In 1915, we had the theory of general relativity. Number one. Don't. <laughs> oh, I, I had it at number two. Yeah, not yeah. close, Lindsay. Yeah, uh, relativity. I had it as number four. <laughs> number four. <laughs> Lido's, Lido's, you're you the quiz master, man. <laughs> you are. You are. I don't know. I don't know. Number All right. Four. So Oops. very good guesses. Very good guesses. So. I will tell you a little Relatively bit. Relatively speaking, it's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Caroline, okay. was right. that the f when, 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 when was the theory of general rel relativity? What in what 1915? So I'll just give you a little. It was the first down. one. Okay, cool. Yes, awesome, number awesome. one. So Sorry. Einstein published his theory of general relativity relativity in a series of papers, with the final paper titled "The Field Equations of Gravitation," published in November 1915. Wow. The theory of general relativity, relativity provides a mathematical description of the relationship between matter, energy, and the curvature of space-time. It predicts how objects move and interact under the influence of gravity. It also explains phenomena such as the bending of light around massive objects, which is called gravitational lensing, and the existence of black holes. General relativity has been successful in explaining and predicting a range of gravitational phenomena in space, such as the movement of planet planets around the sun, the bending of starlight around massive objects, the expansion of the universe, and it also predicts the existence of the black hole regions of space-time with such a strong gravitational pull that nothing, not even light, can ex escape from them. Oh, wow. So it's cool. quite a significant discovery, and I felt like mm -hmm. I couldn't go on without it having that one in there. That Definitely. totally makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Yep. 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 Oh, Definitely. right. And I, and I couldn't. I couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> <laughs> How's it feel? <laughs> okay. oh, oh, I am so in your shoes right now. Don't <laughs> Let's see how we see how we go now. All right. Number two was the development of quantum mechanics. In 1924. That's nice. Oh, wow. Where did we have it listed? Oh, I had <laughs> Sorry, was this quantum mechanics? Yes, quantum mechanics. Oh, I, I, I had it worse. I had a, num I had a number nine. 
Number nine. <laughs> All right. Just yeah. a few centuries off. No, sorry, a few years yeah. off. Oh, yeah. So you need these basic things before you can do a lot of the other stuff. But anyway, <laughs> just letting you yeah, know. Yeah, right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine because if you don't know much about quantum mechanics, then you probably wouldn't understand. So that's fine. That's so, me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and me too. So let me tell yeah. you about quantum mechanics. Little so the phrase, <laughs> the phrase quantum mechanics was actually coined in German as quantum mechanic by the group of physicists, including Max Born, Werner Heisenberg and Wolfgang Pauli. At the, university, I'm sorry. <laughs> at the University of Göttingen in the 1920s. And then it was first used in Max Born's 1924 paper named Zur Quantum Mechanik. The term has now become a theoretical basis for explaining atomic bonding, molecular structure, how molecules react between each other, etc. And actually, it's a super interesting and complicated topic, but it does give some great insight into how atoms and molecules behave. I remember learning about electron orbitals in an atom, and it was really helpful for, visual, for visualizing how atoms look and behave, um, you know, during university. Yeah. It was like an amazing topic. It's so abstract, but so awesome. <laughs> and on a practical note, it's actually led to advancements in physics, in electronics, and quantum computing. Cool. Yo. Cool. So that's a really cool one. Sweet. If you have time to go look up electron orbitals, please do. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, if my eyes are shifting around, I am listening. Mm -hmm. However, I'm just mm -hmm. monitoring the dog who is here the as well. <laughs> yes, the dog situation. Well, I have All a right. very well-behaved cat here. So he's just yeah. sleeping. Yeah, I'm cats like that. Yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Go for it. Number three. I had, ready? The Ooh, discovery cool. of penicillin. I had this it at number in... one. Yeah. Ah, well, oh. that's pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Lindsay? Wait, sorry. Discovery of penicillin? Yes. Was it? I had it yes. as number two. Okay. Close. 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 Yeah. Okay. And yeah. this was in 1928. Also another interesting thing we all learn about in biology and, and microbiology, etc. Mm. So mm. Alexander Fleming actually accidentally discovered the antibiotic properties of penicillin. Hmm. Um, he found mole growing on a petri dish of Staphylococcus bacteria. He noticed that the mold seemed to be pe sorry to seem to be preventing the bacteria around it from growing. They had the bacteria, and then around it there was a whole big space. Um, he hmm. soon identified that the mold produced a self-defense chemical that could kill the bacteria. Ah, this cool. led to mm. the development of the use of penicillin as an antibiotic in medicine, and it revolutionized the treatment of infectious diseases, it saved countless lives, and opened the door to the development of numerous other antibiotics to combat bacterial infections. So a major, cool. major discovery. Yeah. Because yeah. without major antibiotics, oh, I think a lot of us will have been yeah. sick for Ooh. a long, long time, for long waiting time. for the yes. body mm. to... Um, mm -hmm. Like when you get, a, say, like a sinus infection, which I've had a few of, an ear infection, you cut mm. yourself, you have an infection, a cat may bite you and you, mm. you know, get an infection without antibiotics, Ooh. you could actually die. So yes. mm. this yeah. is a very, Definitely. very important mm. discovery. I, um, wow. I actually also discovered penicillin. I wasn't the first one, but I did discover it. Uh, <laughs> yes. One day I was at work and um, I was you know, <laughs> typing away at my computer having my coffee. Um, and then I went home but I forgot to wash my coffee cup and there was a bit of coffee at the bottom. And when I came back, um, yeah, just bacteria penicillin. everywhere. So penicillin, Fantastic. molds. No, wait, nice, molds, not bacteria. Nice yeah. green, <laughs> yeah. green molds yeah. in your cup, bit yeah, of black but in sadly, there too. Yeah, sadly I wasn't the first one to discover it, so I couldn't no. believe it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh, wow. Sorry, well done. everyone. It's 100, Congratulations. 100, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For being about the millionth. Million, Five million yeah, yeah. person to discover. Surely I should get something for that at least. You know, yeah, just... congratulations. A clap. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I, do it. I do it for the people. Yeah. You do. Your heart's in everything. It, it is, yeah. In the right place. <laughs> yep. All right. Are we ready for number four? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready? The structure of DNA. So the discovery of the structure of DNA, which occurred in 1953. 
Where did we have that? Mm. Well, I have it I at had, number four. Oh, I had it at number six. Okay. 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 So I'm in the zone. I had it as number yeah. three. Okay, good, Ooh, good. Yeah. So those two are pretty yeah. close. Penicillin yeah. and DNA, not bad. Okay, yeah, good, good, good. I just good. thought they might cool, be related cool, cool, somewhere. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good work. There's a lot of discovery happening around this time. So, can I, can I just say at this point very quickly, mm. I feel very, very certain at least about the last one. So I might be setting myself up for humiliation now, but I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm betting my bottom dollar that this last one is right. But if it's wrong, um, <clears throat> you're doing the next hundred episode on your own, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> goodness! <laughs> me. Walk away in shame. It's okay, you're just feeling a bit of what I felt last quiz, Lindsay. Yeah, it's, it's your last yeah. quiz. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let me tell you about the structure of DNA. So this is accredited to James and James Watson and Francis Crick. They presented the double helix structure of DNA to the scientific community. They unveiled the mechanism of genetic information storage and replication. This discovery has provided the foundation for modern genetics and modern biology, enabling advancements in fields such as genetic engineering, personalized medicine, the understanding of inherited diseases. Oh, but wow, yeah. what is not taught mm. in biology class, and it wasn't taught in my biology class, is that when I was learning about the discovery of the DNA helix, is there was another contributor that who put a lot of work into the discovery. She photographed and discerned the DNA structure. She may she didn't actually know exactly what she was looking at, but Watson mm. and Crick did. And um, her name was Rosalind Franklin. However, it's Watson and Crick who took the credit for the discovery. Uh, so, oh, just wanted to mention that. And there were a few yeah, other but, people working on it, but they were the ones that clicked on and said, "Ah, this is this mm. is it." So, okay. a few people mm. did actually contribute in that work um, of you know trying to dis. Um, to um, determine the structure of the DNA helix. Wow. Wow. All right. All right. So cool. number five, are we ready? Mm-hmm. Ready. Mm-hmm. Okay. This was when man first set foot on the moon in 1969. Oh, well, uh, pff, I had that at number four. <laughs> I went okay. what number four okay. was. <laughs> okay. Close. Roll out the red carpet, blow the trumpets of victory. I got yes. this one. Yay! I got, it. got another yeah, five. Go. Fantastic. Right. Well yeah. done. All well right. done. Thank you. I want to. I want to thank my mum, Elvis, and <laughs> what did you? very good. Very good. So, the Apollo Eleven mission was when they sent men to actually go and land on the moon and step mm. out onto the moon, and it was made up of three astronauts. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. Now Buzz! Yes, Buzz. Or, or, um, or Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and the other guy. Yes, oh. which I was going to mention is what they – people Sorry. hardly ever mention him because he actually didn't yeah. step onto the moon. Mm. He oh. was orbiting while waiting for the other guys to finish up and get back into the ship. So, <laughs> so, it was kind of pivotal to the well, mission, well, though. I mean, like this he was yeah, extremely yeah, of course. Pivotal. Without yeah. him, yeah. they wouldn't yeah. be able to – Anyway, it was a yeah. whole thing. Read about it. It's an amazing mission, Scary. if you haven't already. Um, so uh, Apollo 11 was launched on July 16, 1969 at 8.32 a.m. They left the launch complex 39 from Kennedy Space Center with the goal of performing the first human landing on the moon. They entered the moon's orbit on July 19th. Michael Collins was the command module pilot and orbited the moon but didn't go onto the surface. Buzz Aldrin was in the lunar lander. He was the pilot. And Neil Armstrong was the lucky first man on the moon uh, with Buzz Aldrin following. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin performed many experiments while they were on the moon and they brought back moon rocks, which are still being studied today. And also some of the experience experiments which they performed um, were placing the seismometers on the moon, which we have spoken about bef- yes, in previous have. episodes. Yep. So. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. Quite, yep. quite wow. cool. Like one of the nice. amazingest things in the whole world. Yep. And in, in one episode, um, mm-hmm. I spoke about, I forgot what it's called, but there was this amazing documentary um, with great footage that had been colorized and fixed up and, and you know, mm-hmm. and brought into, like, brought into sharper contrast. Yes. Um, where they showed the launch of that mission. And that yes. documentary was, I think I mentioned it was so inspiring that I watched mm-hmm. it on a Friday. 
and yes. I watched it again on a Saturday morning. It was, yeah. <laughs> so good. Um, it was free for, on streaming, but I don't think it's free anymore. But um, yeah. Mm. Was, okay. So and a few, yeah. few years ago when they celebrated, I think it was the, would have been, how long? The 50th, I don't know, how 50th year or something like that. Um, they There was on YouTube the actual streaming of the landing of the moon, wow. the whole yeah, from the beginning yeah, yeah, to the yeah. end. Ooh, and wow. I actually sat and watched the whole thing. And it's yeah. like you actually watching it for watching the first time. So I cool. highly yeah. recommend if you can look that up yeah. on YouTube. Please do. Nice, Which is amazing nice. when you think about it because the mm. next time mm. it happens, we probably will be watching it on YouTube, right? Not yes. Now, you know, yes. Yeah. yes. That's yeah. true. That is yes. true. That is cannot true. Wait. Yeah. Cannot mm. wait. Yes. All cannot right. wait. Yeah. Okay. All right. Number six. I had here the discovery of the first exoplanet, and that happened in 1992. Ooh. I had that okay. on number eight. Oh, okay. I actually well, had it. Um, yeah, I had it as uh, the oldest one. Just, I, I uh-huh. just felt like uh-huh. I was wondering if maybe there was like a Copernicus or someone who might have seen an uh-huh. exoplanet in a yeah, but yeah, like a so, classical scientist. But an exoplanet but again, is a planet not years, in our so. solar system. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know if you would have seen out of our yeah. solar system, but yeah. good try. Yeah. That's that's yeah. good because yes, like Galileo saw the Galilean moons of Jupiter. So yes, amazing. that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, but yeah, no, they wouldn't have been able to see that far out. <laughs> but good one, good try. Try harder, guys. Come on. <laughs> I know. Squint, a squint a little yeah. harder. Just yeah. squint a little harder. Squint harder. Squint harder. Yeah. Squint harder. <laughs> I want tears. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, the first confirmed discovery of an exoplanet occurred in 1992 and was made by a team of astronomers led by Alexander Wolstan and Dale Frail, they discovered two exoplanets orbiting a pulsar star, pulsar, known as PSR B1257 plus 12. Uh, PSR B1257 plus 12 <laughs> is a rapidly rotating neutron star or a pulsar located in the constellation Virgo. They used a method which involved measuring the precise timing of a pulsar's radio pulses. Tiny variations were dis- were detected in the pulsar's signal caused by the gravitational pull of the orbiting planets. Mm, the cool. two orbiting exoplanets discovered were named PSR B1257 plus 12B and PSR B1257 plus 12C. I'm so they're... grateful that they make these very memorable labels so that we can, <laughs> that know. We can remember them again in conversations with of people that we, we know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, since then, many exoplanets have been observed, such as by two scientists, Michael Mayer and Didier Queloz, who won a Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery of exoplanets around a sun-like star in 1995. And through NASA missions such as TESS and Kepler, which we've heard mm. of. Mm, mm, mm. Yep. All right. So nice month. Ready for number seven? Yep. There you go. go. Here we go. Okay. So number seven is mm. mapping the human genome in two thousand and three. Uh, Where did we have this one, guys? I had this a number three. That's okay. all gone. That's all gone. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Number Lindsay. seven. I got Number it. Number seven. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, Very that's good. two points. No one knew your score for my quiz, but yeah, that, I'll take it. <laughs> All right. All right. I've got some dignity uh, left. You do. <laughs> Sorry, Lito. Sorry. I'm gone, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is my, my sequence over here is all out of whack now. Well, you know, that's okay. good. Okay. Your smoke all... on the water, Lito. <laughs> 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 now you got that bass thing. You got the riff in my head now. Go for it, Caroline. <laughs> All right. So the Human Genome Project was a joint international project involving scientists from the United States, the United Kingdom, Japan, Germany, and China. It was started in 1990 and completed in 2003. The sequence of the entire genome provided a comprehensive map of the genes and genetic variations that make up human DNA. This has enabled enabled scientists to identify genes associated with diseases, understand the basic, um, the genetic basis of traits, and develop personal personalized medicine approaches. And we can also find out ancestral DNA, 
heritage, which is a fun thing to do if you haven't already done so. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And a little cheap plug to um, that ancestral DNA. (laughs) Cool. Okay, good. Mine pointed to Malta, which wasn't a big surprise. But anyway. There you go. (laughs) Okay. Cool. We talked about Lido B a Malta in that. That's right. There's a link. There you go. Definitely different. All right. Number eight is a really cool one. Okay. All right. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Okay. So we have at number eight the sequencing of Neanderthal DNA, which happened in two thousand and ten. Oh. Who had this one at number I had, eight? No, nah, I had it at seven. seven. I had seven. seven. Okay, okay, that's oh. okay. Close. I had it as number nine. Number okay. nine. Okay, close. Yeah. Close. Very good. Some close Very calls, good. but just not the. Uh, yeah. Very good. Damn it. Yep. Oh, mm. almost there. Almost there. Mm. All right. So. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I say that? No. Okay. That's right. That was a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> actually, actually, because they're 100, I'll tell the story really quickly. So, <laughs> yeah. on, ra- on raising the bets at one point, um, Melanie said that same word. Yes. And as a joke, Don bleeps it, right? <laughs> Uh, it just so happened. Now, Luna had no idea that this happened, right? But in your first episode with us, you did the same thing. So it was a joke we had it bleeped as well. So uh, that was <laughs> Easter. I'm going to say that it was just, Easter 2020, I think it was. I think it was. Started. And it sounded yeah. worse. It sounded like I said something really, really yeah. bad. It sounded like, like oh, you saw it. Really oh, bad. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Catholics of Oz, it is really, yeah. Mm, yeah. you know, talk yeah. back radio. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Are you probably like, like a I finger blurry. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wonder if you got rid of our clean reading on, on Apple Podcasts. You know? mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't oh, know. <laughs> Cuss words, Lido. Come on. Mm. Yep. Anyways. Go for it, Caroline. Ne- Neanderthal so, DNA sequencing. Neanderthal which really DNA, cool. which I thought yeah. was really cool. The, fir- the first successful sequencing of Neanderthal DNA took place in 2010. In that year, research team led by Svant Pabo at the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Germany published a draft sequence of the Neanderthal genome. The team used DNA extracted from a toe bone of a Neanderthal individual found in the Denisova cave in Siberia. Siberia. This involved extracting and analysing ancient DNA from the, from the Neanderthal remains, comparing it to human genome and reconstructing a significant portion of the Neanderthal genome. Wow. Valuable information wow. about the genetic similarities and differences between Neanderthals and modern humans was obtained. The study also determined that some mixture of genes occurred between Neanderthals and modern humans mm. and presented evidence that elements of their genome re- remain in modern humans, which is mind blowing amazing mm. to me. Very mm. and yeah. super cool. Very cool. Yes. yes. Where, so, where was that toe bone found again? Sorry, was it in Siberia? Siberia. Is there a, yeah. there a jig box there as well? Oh like, no, yeah. no. And I don't know how that popped I, into I my head. I don't know. I, I, I see the, the girl. I'm so trying not to laugh, but you know, I'm leaving that one there on the table. <laughs> <laughs> but right you know, next to the mushrooms, and let's keep going. Yeah, okay. I remember. I, I remember if someone calls you 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 Neanderthal, yeah, and it's a compliment. That Just say thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I, I am. You. I am the mm. yeah. I am part. And well yes, done. Right. And you can That's say well right. done for knowing what the are as well. <laughs> <laughs> Very you wanna, smart. You want to return the insult? Yeah. That's yeah. It. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right. Number nine. Okay. Ready. Mm-hmm. The first successful landing of a reusable slash recyclable <sighs> booster, rocket booster, mm-hmm. which was in yep. 2015. Where do we have this one, guys? They don't. I, I had this at number 10. Mm-hmm. Last, last list. Uh, close, close. close, yeah. close. <sighs> so, yeah, I had these mixed around with Neanderthal DNA. So I had it as number eight. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. That's yeah. all right. Because they're pretty I'm close. I'm a Neanderthal, clearly. All so, right. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. They were very smart. People don't give them enough credit. Anyway. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, SpaceX successfully relanded a rocket booster in December 2015. The reusable launch system technology was developed for the first stage of the Falcon 9. After mm-hmm. stage separation, the booster flips around and a re-entry burn controls the direction to the landing site and a landing burn accomplishes the final low-altitude deceleration and touchdown. The program was first announced in 2011 
SpaceX first successfully launched and recovered the first stage booster on December 2015. The first reuse of the refurbished booster occurred in March 2017. And they mm. get then again on June 2017. That number fell off there. Following oh. this, <laughs> the reflight of the refurbished boosters have now become a routine. Mm. And in May 2021, you might remember this, the booster named B1051 became the first booster to launch 10 missions. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Be used 10 times, which yep. is super cool. That's pretty cool. Mm. Yeah. That's mind blowing. Yeah. Yeah. So there we yep. go. Awesome. Wow, and we wow. are we are hoping um, at some some point now to have a successful Starship launch orbit and you know, into Earth. Looking uh, forward to that one. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Wow. Definitely, um, yeah. Hopefully that will happen. Yes, I'm sure it will. <laughs> they just have to keep exciting. plugging yeah. at it. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Definitely yeah. keep on plugging at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Number ten. Okay. The first photograph of a black hole in this of our black hole in the center wow. of the Milky Way galaxy named Sagittarius A star. Who wow. had this one at number 10? I did not. I had mm-hmm. for some funny reason I had it at number five. I'm thinking Okay. Whoa. Well, yeah. Okay. Did they have okay. the little book like they didn't have the technology to <laughs> say the black Maybe hole? Not. For... Maybe they did. Oh, they didn't say anything so, about it. Yeah, well, so, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> so I mentioned uh, earlier that I was very, very confident about number yeah. 10. And I I remember being very excited about this. And I remember it being fairly recent. So, yes, yes. I did get this one about the Excellent. Milky Way Galaxy Black Hole. Because yeah, cool. that was very, very exciting news. Yeah, It was very exciting yeah. news. Yeah. So the cool. first photograph taken of our black hole mm. was taken by the Event Horizon Telescope and revealed right. to the world on May 12th, 2022. Yeah. So mm. the um, Event Horizon Telescope previously had photographed the Event Horizon of a black hole of Messier 87 in 2019. Mm. So that was the first of any black hole yep. while making while also making observations of Sagittarius A star. When it was revealed, it was the first ever photograph taken of a black hole. The Messier images, and we spoke about this in one of our episodes, yep. um, were easier to put together because it is a much larger, brighter, and more voracious in appetite black hole mm. than Sagittarius A star. The movement of the black hole is slow and a lot of material is consumed, so it creates a bright yep. event horizon. Cool. Sagittarius A star, in comparison, has a very small appetite and moves a lot faster than Messier 87, making the event horizon harder to see. So that's uh-huh. why that one came second. And there we go. Cool. There's well done. Our 10 oh, significant yeah, yeah. discoveries yeah. of the last well 100 years right. in my eyes, yeah. plus or well, minus a few years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the uh, wow. final scores today are what? Lino, nine, Caroline, nine. eight, Lindsay, is it like three. <laughs> oh, all oh, right. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You guys came back like, yeah, with a vengeance of that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And fun yeah. came first. So that's definitely all right. Yeah, so, <laughs> I, no, fun is right? the winner. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. Totally. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, wow. everyone's seeing the go. Everyone's Wish that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. We Thanks for that, Caroline. That, that was awesome. Yes. That was a that, that was, was a bit of fun. Amazing, yeah. Caroline. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, yeah. It was good. Ooh, All right. I well, enjoyed um, that. I enjoyed putting that together. That was good. Yeah. yeah. That was good. Totally makes sense. All right. Wow. Let's uh, move on and talk about entertainment. I don't know where you get your delusions, laser brain. It's not what we came here to do. No. no. It's what I'm going to do. I have a plan. You've got a plan. I have part of a plan. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? So, uh, we um, let's see how this works because it does involve <laughs> living creatures <laughs> right, yes. to some degree. So we thought we'd start the um, the entertainment um, segment. And this may or may not fail depending on what the three of us have been able to accomplish. Me included. Although mine has just come, so which is really nice. Handy. Oh, excuse me for one second. Um, so we thought we'd um, share our pets, you know, like show and tell, like you, you bring your pet to school. So let's bring your pet to the podcast day. So yes. if you're watching the video of this, you'll be able to see uh, what we're about to reveal. So I brought my beautiful uh, Shih Tzu, Cross Terrier Luna, 
And here she is. There she Hello, is. Hello, Luna. Hey, oh, Luna. She's looking very pretty, all dressed up. Look how cute she is. Oh, <laughs> oh what a all dressed up for this, she this episode. Is and so uh, she's um, our gorgeous little baby dog. And she's looking she around. She really is. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, anyway, Luna. I'll. Uh, it's like, what's going on? So this is your internet debut, Luda. Well done. Yeah, Luda. Dog video, so we're going viral now. Yay! Oh, Luda. So that's Luna. Luna will be turning one year in July. Wow. July 15th, she'll be a year old. That's right, yeah. Come and see her again. She's so pretty and lovely. Yes, that's it. Yeah. She loves to She's a very friendly dog. Yep. She, is. She, uh, she loves to sleep under blankets on our bed. Um, and, uh, and when I come home, uh, she runs to the door like a crazy dog and will not leave her alone until she's had cuddles and kisses. So, yeah. so she's so like beautiful. a child. She yeah. is. Oh, beautiful. All right. I, um, yeah. Caroline, do you want to? I have a cat uh, here. He's asleep, but I'm going to see if I can wake him up and see without him. Yeah. All right, yeah, well, I while think... you do that, I'll, um, I'll oh. get a treat for, uh, for Luna. Yeah, Luna, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. This is my hey. Hey. His hey. full name is Chocolate Rocket Chips. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate Rocket <laughs> Chips? Oh, no, wow, that's the first I've heard of it. <laughs> we call him Chippy. Chippy. And he's yeah. five years old, and he's a Siamese cross ragdoll, yeah. and he's my precious little boy. Aren't yeah. you? And he's not very happy because I woke him up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he's a grumpy oh, cat. He's a yeah. oh, yeah. grumpy cat. cat vibes. Yeah. Yeah. So he's not oh, really like grumpy at all. Me. He's yeah. a beautiful he's boy. He's loving, and he's, yeah. now he's sitting on the windowsill and yep. he might make another. Hang on. Here we go. Let's see. There he is. Yeah, there he is. That's, oh, that's our oh, first okay. yeah, that's there we it. go. Walking across the keyboard or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, they he's on a catwalk. He's on the catwalk. He's one of my mini pets. Yes. I have yeah. a few. Um, before you tell us about beautiful, your other pets, Caroline, do you want to um, tell us about the naming system for your animals and your family? Mm. Okay. So because everybody wants to have a go at naming a pet and everybody wants to name the pet and nobody wants to miss out on naming the pet, we let everybody have a name of the pet. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's see if I remember this correctly. I think it was Harry who wanted to call him Chocolate. I wanted to call him Rocket. And um, Frankie wanted to call him Chips. So that we, I said, look, let's just name him Chocolate Rocket Chips. And now we just all call him Chippy. So, Chippy. Yes. Chippy. Or yep. sometimes it's Chips and J Cat. Or, you know, <laughs> and it could be <laughs> like my yeah. Prince Chippy. He could be anything. So, yeah, you know, Sweet. when you have an animal, we end up naming them all sorts of things anyway. Yeah. So. Cool. Cool, so cool, cool. It cool. doesn't stop there. You've got a bit of a menagerie of uh, I have animals. a menagerie so now. Okay. Let's <laughs> see if menagerie. I can do this. All right. Yeah. Yeah. How's that? Yep. 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 All right, yep. that's our bird. Wow. Um, Sunny, Sunny. He he's adopted our family. He came and landed in our yard, and he hasn't left since. So he's <laughs> wow. our boy, and we love him very much. Yeah, yes. he's a beautiful nice, boy. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. If I go the right way, that's the right oh, no. way. <laughs> that, Marilyn, our sister's actually mining him for the weekend, and that's a yes. here cat looking after the bird. <gasps> and this is a, okay. a live action, live action <laughs> Looney Tunes photo right that's there. It. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Yep, that is go. That dog Astro. He is also hey. one. Girl. Yep. 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 Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. He's our look beautiful at his eyes. Boy. Look at his yeah. eyes. Yeah. 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 Beautiful, beautiful, boy. beautiful, beautiful. And yeah. that is our cat Stella. She's a Burmese, a lilac Burmese, and Stella. she's cool. three years old. St- <laughs> yeah, sorry, Stella, yeah, but Stella. spelled Stella like the star Stella. The star Stella. with Stella. an R. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's Chippy. You've met Chippy. Yeah. Yep. And there's our chickens, chickens. Booster and yep. Bike. Wow. Ooh, cool. And that's one of our stick insects. She's Whoa. a tiny. Stick insect. Yep. And Caroline and did a science episode on stick insects as I well. I did. I yep. did. And yep. this is yep. a Goliath stick insect. She is yeah. like bigger than my amazing. hand. She is. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. So yeah. That's wow. Amazing. All the pets I have yeah. at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment. The for the now. Moment. For now, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness yeah. me. So there we oh, go. Yeah. That's my show and tell oh. of pets. Yeah. Hey, All right, hey, hey. right Lena, have we, are you able well, to look, have an look, animal close um, by? Look, um, sort of, um, this is going to be a low live, right, guys? So okay, I'll have okay. to pop out outside because I think Go. one of them's asleep. But this okay. is this is the one I can actually grab and take. The other one okay. is, yeah. you know how cats are. I'll, yes. I'll try it out. I'll try it out. Sorry, listeners, I'll be back. I'll be back. Go for it. 
while Lino's doing that, I'm going to give uh, Luna a snack because she heard a noise and she started growling, which no, means she's going to no. give us a bit of a bark. Yep. That's yeah, all right. See, she does give us a bark. No, that's all right. She's, uh, no, she's seeing her snacks now, so she's completely distracted. So uh, okay. I'll hold this up if I can. You see how clear it's. It's very small, <laughs> but these are her. This is her treats. You can see here. Oh, uh, little liver treats. Right. Yes. It's, um, oh. it's, no, it's, um, it's like a chicken and fish thing, and she can smell it. And she goes. She's absolutely it's, obedient whenever she. Uh, crazy. Yeah, she'll sit and she'll like she'll lie down for us. All right. It was let's like, see how Lido um, is going. Yeah. It was actually, it was yeah. actually in perfect timing because he wanted to come in. Uh, oh, good. Nice. He's so oh, cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> now I don't know if you can see we can, we can see because we I've got my mic in front of me, but um, that's right. We can see it. Yeah, okay. yeah, we can. This, this, so this one has um, um, sort of a camo on his um, on his um, it has camo on his face. Uh, yeah. Like you know how cats go underneath cars and they got great. Yeah, yeah. He's got, yeah. He's got yeah, a bit yeah. of a camo on the side. His <laughs> brother is the same. So I'm yeah. gonna quickly. So sorry guys, I'm gonna go quickly show you a picture. <laughs> I'm looking at um, Pressure's on while he scrolls through his phone. Oh, it's a bit blurry. It's not going to do it. You've got your blur on. It's yeah. all right. Yeah. We get the idea. He's a beautiful he's got, boy no, as well. No one can see his face unless they no. see him in person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> actually, so what, um, the reason he's blurry is because he's currently under witness protection, so we can't actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> so, um, okay. So, this one is called Dell. Um, as you guys know, we had him, well, sorry, we've had them for almost seven years now. So it's been a long time. Um, um, we had them when Keysborough, where we was near us, uh, mm. had a cat shelter and, uh, and everything. Mm. Um, uh, it's, this is Cordell. The other one's called Lawrence. He's, he's like an actual cat. He, he's like the one that doesn't like a lot of hugs and he likes to be alone <laughs> and, and everything. But like, you know, all cats have their, um, uh, personality, so that's they, that's yeah. it's all good. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's giving good. you a cuddle. Look at that. He's really. Oh, yeah, he's so he's beautiful. He's, okay, yeah. I'm gonna. Okay, I think uh, I think this is what's gonna make the podcast go viral. Is the yeah. little cat hug. <laughs> I yeah. think he's yeah. gonna so fall asleep yeah. in my head. I yeah, think. look at this. Oh, look at him. He's giving. No, a he's just giving you a cuddle. Look at that. So look at that. Ah, Lena, you cute. planned that really well. You planned you that. You did. Really well. well done. Yeah. No, Lena no. pulled out all the stops for this. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I got fit a few names for Malta, so I don't know how to pronounce them properly because I don't have a Maltese. Um. Why Poopa? Is it uh, Poopa? He's and, a Poopa because he's a, a boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And the other one is um. Uh, the other cat is on. Hi Nini. Hi Nini. Oh, hi Nini. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hi yeah. Nini. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's my love. Oh, like, okay. sort of. yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, you learned well. Uh, you learned yeah. well. Oh, yeah. Really. I'll try yep. to. I'll try to. Did good. Oh, the best that's that's another thing. That's say, another thing. Yeah. Oh, you know, you've done much better, Lido, because um. I won't say hey, I said it in the past because we humiliated <laughs> you. You've, you've risen to the occasion, so well done. Well done. I'd like, yeah. like to thank my auntie for keep on repeating it to me. Yeah. Keep on saying, you want the, you want best sisters? You want yeah. best sisters? Yeah. Yeah. I want best sisters. I want have the best sisters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All good, all good, all good. All good. Yeah. You can't say no. You just have to have no, it. Definitely, definitely not. Definitely not. Yeah. Definitely not. Mm-hmm. yeah. So do we just want to quickly chuck in some other brief things that are currently exciting us and entertaining yeah. us as well? So, uh, Caroline, I'll throw the first one and you throw the one that, yeah. So um, this one is, uh, now, uh, in terms of recommending it, you've probably got to be grown up to watch it because there's a bit of silly adult humor from time to time. Um, But there's a series that came out on on Amazon Prime called Jury Duty. And um, it's not a spoiler to say this because you're told in the captions at the beginning of the the first episode. It's, um, It's set up as a documentary to follow a jury through a trial, through their journey of a trial. Um, so we meet all the jurors, you know, we meet the judge, whatever else. And then we're told that all of them are actors, the judge, the defendants, the, uh, you know, the prosecutors, the lawyers, the jury, the prison guard, all of them, everyone that you see <laughs> in this series is an actor, except for one juror who has no idea that nothing he's going to experience is real. Wow. So he essentially spends, I think it's eight to 10 days as a juror um and they and what happens is these ridiculous situations <laughs> pop up very ridiculous re- totally so, ridiculous yeah, and and he's living through all of this so you know and um like even at one point he says oh this feels like a reality show sometimes <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. yeah and oh, um wow. and it's very funny and um it does actually feature um james marsden who played um cyclops in mm-hmm. uh, in the x-men 
And yeah. so oh, that becomes, okay. that becomes yeah, that's a recurring theme. Yeah. Okay. So, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, and Sonic and he too. Does, yeah, and, and that's what the voice of Sonic or yeah. a voice in Sonic. Yeah. No, he was um, in Sonic the movie as well. Yes. Yeah. Sonic um, movie. So. Yeah. That's right. Yes, he was. Yeah. Yes. So it's um it's laugh out loud. There are some moments that are just are just so funny the way that they they set it up. Um, but yeah, there's an episode or two where like unfortunately the adult is a bit, uh, sorry, the humor is a bit more adult. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. But, yeah, but you can yeah, you can gloss yeah. over that and still get the the really funny bits. But um, yeah, I, I recommend it for grown ups. Definitely not for younger people. But um, but the the way the setup of it, it it's like nothing I've seen before as far as I can remember. And it's very, very, very funny. Just the way yeah. that um, this guy is in these situations, and he, you know, cool. and he, it's unreal. It's yeah, really like unreal. when is he going to clue into what's actually yeah, going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, now, Caroline. Cool. I know that you're excited about the news. Just from a the little bit. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. I, I'm excited too. Yeah, yeah. No, all the Nintendo Switch fans, Caroline. What's happened in Nintendo Direct this year? Okay. Anyway. So many things, but the one that I will concentrate on that I have been waiting for for many years. Mm-hmm. Think years, what you yeah. like of me. I don't care. Okay? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I am I a huge it. Pikmin fan. Okay. I've you been are. playing the game Pikmin on Nintendo since it first came out all those years ago. On One, the 64? It came Nintendo out 64? on, no, it came out on the GameCube. GameCube. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And two, and then two yeah. was yeah. on the Wii as well. They converted yep. it to the Wii. And yep. then... The Wii U came out and they did Pikmin 3 and Mm -hmm. that was about 2014. And since then, we've been waiting for Pikmin 4. Now, if you're Pikmin fan, you need the next Pikmin. Like, you cannot just have Pikmin 1, 2, 3. You've got it. Like, you play through them all many times. And you just get addicted. And the thing is, you need another one, okay? (laughs) Finally. Okay, they brought out recently, it was last year or the year before, I think now. Pikmin 3 Deluxe where they added like some side stories that you could play a bit of extra, little bit of a ga- different gameplay, etc. But this year, in Ju- on July 21st, they'll be releasing Pikmin 4, which I'm <laughs> yes. so wow. excited about. And the gameplay <laughs> looks amazing. The graphics I'm getting my $80 ready. <laughs> yeah. yes. oh, that's a better. Save uh, up for it. You have to get exactly. it. Um, exactly. Exactly. From what I saw in Pikmin Direct, there is um, gameplay on the surface. There's underground gameplay, which was uh, in Pikmin underground. 2. Mm. Yes. Yep. Okay, and okay, there's yeah. indoor play, which I don't think yes. we've seen much of no, no, at all. No, no, like inside buildings, yeah, yeah which is different. Like usually yeah, like outdoors. And, yeah. yep. and there's some new characters, such as a dog character. This is nothing new, yep. so you could go and look at it on Pikmin Direct. And some yep. new Pikmin, which oh, I can't wait. To try it out. <laughs> I, yeah. I uh, yeah. Yes. So, yeah, it's going to be yeah. great. Was it Glow Pikmin they announced? It was looks it? Was... like Glow Pikmin, which they yeah. did not announce in the preview recently when they, they first released the preview. Yeah, they that's hit right. that one. This was, um, yeah, this is just announced. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And um, also a lovely yep. thing they're doing, and it's what I've been waiting for as huh. well, since they started yep. porting games over from yes. the, what is it, the GameCube, the, mm, not the GameCube, mm, I'm waiting mm. for that one. <laughs> the Game yes. Boy, the NES, so they're yep. porting those. Whoa, over Game Switch. Boy. Wow. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And yep. what they're doing now, though, is releasing Pikmin 1 and 2, not porting, but yes. releasing them as standalone games that you can play on the Switch, which yeah. is oh. hallelujah. Wow. I've been waiting yeah. so long yeah. for that because yeah. I love my game. Like, I love yeah. number 1 and 2, and you go back to play it on the GameCube, yeah. and it's so cumbersome these days compared to having a Switch. <laughs> right. yeah. and also, you know what? I wanna, you can imagine that. <laughs> yeah, but also I want to protect my GameCube and the discs, so, like, you know, yes. I, I, I keep enough. them as, like, you know, Precious items now. So yeah, uh, and uh, switched, you know what you yeah you nay says you said there wasn't a god and and we get Pikmin one to four on the same console. How dare yeah? How do you feel about that now? I right? know, that, yeah, right? Exactly. Take That's that. Right. Oh, so, yeah. okay. Yeah, that is like I had the best news when it, this <laughs> Nintendo Direct came out. I texted the whole family. I was there, yeah, everybody. Yeah. There were celebrations in the streets and. There yeah, were. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. And then I yes. happened to find a really good Thai restaurant that delivered to us, so I was really happy. So <laughs> was a good night. On cloud nine. Cloud I was nine. having That's a great right. night. Yes. Yeah. It's I a think perfect it was a Thursday it, night. It yeah. is a perfect marriage, yeah. Gaming yes. and food. Yes. 
Different. I know, yeah, right? Sure. You, can't, you can't get away from that. Yeah. That's they, good. Um, good. I'm also excited about some other titles that were announced. Um, so going with classic porting of games. So they're bringing, um, they're re-releasing the Metal Gear series. So they're doing Volume 1, which will have Metal Gear 1, 2, and 3. And Metal Gear 1 is an absolute classic of a game. I, I remember playing that. Uh, like in high school on, on PlayStation <laughs> 1. That was a, that's one that me and my friends used to love playing. Um, they're also releasing the Batman trilogy. So mm-hmm. Arkham, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Knight. I think that, don't think that's the right order, which is really cool because I love those games. They're, those Batman games for me are like the best Batman games yeah. I've ever played. So really cool with that. Um, and then there's a, what is it? They're re-releasing Mario RPG, which was oh a, my God. a Mario RPG game, which is <laughs> very cool. They're, they're Mario really RPG. It. Yeah. Wow. Um, wow. Yeah, and there's a few other good ones, but the other one I'm excited for, because I like the Mario games now. So they're uh, Mario Wonder, which is a side scrolling mm. Mario Mario game. So yeah. and it looks like it's up to four players as well. So you can have four people playing it at once. Oh, that's mayhem. Really cool. Oh, that, yeah. that, that is fun, fun mayhem. Oh, fun yeah. mayhem. Yeah. 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 And let's not forget new tracks for Mario Kart as well. So that's a uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, exactly. That's so fun. Yeah. Yeah. And and why do I love the Switch so much, Caroline? It's not just because of all the games, because I get to play it with my family and we yeah. have so yeah. much fun. It's such a laugh, That's you know, right. like laughing, screaming, That's right. you know, getting excited, yeah. you know, like yeah, it's so much fun. Yeah. That's so um, That's why cool. I love Nintendo. Yeah. Nintendo is yeah. all about fun. Like it really yeah. is. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't it's take a, anything seriously. A, it's just yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. It's a, like if you've got a cold winter's night, you've got no nothing to do, like nowhere to go. Like it's a great like family night in is just to yeah. sit around and play Nintendo together. Yep. And nice. the Switch has really brought that whole let's play together kind of thing in. So it has. thank you, Nintendo. Good work. Yes. Yep. yes. We love <laughs> it. Well, um, I've got one more bit of feedback to share with us. So you guys ready for this one? Um, mm-hmm. So okay. you mm-hmm. probably know who it's from, but you haven't heard it yet. So no, I think not yet. Nice not you, yet. No. no. Surprise. No. Um, so here it is. Hello, Lindsay, Caroline, and Lena. Congratulations on your 100th episode, Catholics of Oz. Um, for me, it's been great listening to you um, over this journey of now of a couple of years, and uh, particularly great to hear of your uh, fresh and creative debate on current issues in the life of our uh, faith and in the light of science and uh, culture and so on. It's been really terrific. Um, it's been also delightful uh, that you've grounded those conversations in your own faith and in your family life, being it something of a round the dinner table kind of conversation that happens uh, with you yourselves and everyone. So it's just been beautiful. Thank you for normalising the very deep matter of faith and life in a daily way, and that's really inspirational for everyone else. So may our Blessed Mother be with you and you continue to uh, make this wonderful outreach on the podcast with Catholic of Oz, and may the Lord continue to bless you in the works that you're doing. Go well. I'm into that. That was our friend of the show. Friend Friend of the show. (laughs) Yeah, Definitely friend of the show. Archbishop Comensoli, we want to thank you so much for yes, taking you. the time. Thank um, you. First, to take the time mm, to giving us the message, definitely. but also for supporting us. We mm. um, we just love that you know that you enjoy the show. We love that you've kept a connection with us over the years. You know, before the pandemic, through the pandemic, you know, yeah, um, yes, um, yeah. But uh, but knowing that uh, we've got your backing, I think really energizes us. Um, so. Um, as much as you've given us your well wishes, God bless you in the work that you do in in re-energizing and renewing the missionary discipleship of our um of our archdiocese. And I just hope and pray our, our little podcast can you know just add a little bit to that as well um in our support of the mission you know of, of the archdiocese and the wider church. So thank you very much. Yes, thank you, Archbishop Peter. It's thank so you. Good to have your thank you, Archbishop. support yeah. and mm-hmm. your mm-hmm. words of wisdom. And yes, just everything you do. Um, yeah, we, we draw inspiration from your words as well. So thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. And um, I want to thank Annie who um, who helped mm. us with get that done. Annie, you are a wonder, and I want to make sure that thank everyone you, knows Annie. that you are. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> so thank you for helping us to get that all set up as well. God bless you as well. Sweet. All right, so uh, it's time to wrap up the show, guys. We've been doing this, this quite a bit of a long episode. but we're wow, just long, you know? it's all right. Yeah. It's all right, yeah. Yeah, but uh, I can see that the drinks are running out. The bowls of chips are getting empty, so I think we better. <laughs> and the, the pets are getting sleepy, so we better call yes. this a, an episode. 
So, um, so we want to thank you all for joining us for any episodes that you've joined us for the Catholics of Oz, especially this 100th episode of ours. Before we go, we want to take a moment to thank our patrons who make it possible for us to create the Catholics of Oz. And today we want to thank Jeffrey J, Carla S, Charles H, Matthew S, and Alan and Melissa K. Through their generous donations at sqpn.com slash give, they make it possible for the Catholics of Oz and all the shows at StarQuest to continue. And you can join them by visiting sqpn.com slash give. And if you can't give, pray for us, please, because your prayers are so important to the success and the continuation of this show. Uh, also, we'd love to know your thoughts about anything we've discussed. How did you score in the trivia? How did you go? Um, <laughs> did, you do, did you do better than us? In the science, you probably did, so that's all right. Yeah, you probably um, in the science probably yeah. much better. Yeah, so you can send us your feedback by visiting su- sqpn.com slash oz, spelled O-Z, where you can also find the links for um, anything in our show notes from today's episode. And while you're at the SQPN website, don't forget to sign up to the SQPN newsletter to find out more about what's coming up in the future, sqpn.com slash about slash newsletter. And join us for discussions on SQPN's Discord, sqpn.com slash Discord. It's a great place. It's vibrant. It's alive. Lots of people having conversations about things, and you can be part of that too. And you can also find more of um, the shows from uh, uh, about StarQuest and about our show at SQPN's Facebook page, facebook.com slash StarQuest Media, Twitter at SQPN, Instagram, StarQuest Media, and you can also email us at good old, the good old email at uh, SQPN, sorry, Catholics of Oz at SQPN.com. But before we go, we're not finished just yet. We have one more little bit of fun to, to, to wrap up the show. So um, I, uh, I thought it might be a little bit of fun to have a Catholics of Oz song to celebrate that celebrates our 100th episode. So Caroline, a couple of episodes, a few science episodes ago, you told us about the wonders of chat GPT and we did an interview with chat GPT as well. That, we um, that chat GPT mm-hmm. helps us write the yeah. notes for. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, AI can help us with so many things. And it turns out, as I discovered through some work that was submitted to a colleague of mine by a student, the AI can write and sing for us as well. So we, uh, I, I've prepared um, with the help of AI, um, and uh, Catholics of Oz 100th episode rap. Now, before everyone switches off, I didn't sing it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so um, the, the way this worked is um, I went to the site that, pr- that prepares the, uh, like, like a rap. And what you have to do is tell it things about your show. So I, I wrote a few things about each of us and I wrote a few things about the show and about the network and so on. And then it constructed some lyrics for us. Now, it, uh, it, the particular way it was set up, it, it made three verses, but um, verse one and three were very repetitive. So I went to chat GPT then and put the same parameters in and it gave us some different verses too. So I plugged those huh. in. As long as you have the right number of lines, it, it, it'll work. Um, and then I just, uh, I, I did about 8% of the, of the lyrics, just changing <laughs> certain things so that they rhyme. And the other thing I had to do as well is every now and then the AI voice wouldn't pronounce the word properly. So I had to mm. write it phonetically, right? So yeah, for right. example, actually, I won't give an example because that will ruin it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> the, words, the words had to be pronounced uh, phonetically. So, um, so that's going to follow the conclusion of today's episode. And we hope you enjoy. And guys, I think we need to be dressed for the part as we say. As we say <laughs> Here we go. So, Here we go. We, yes. Yeah, so Caroline, thank you so much for being part of episode 100 of the Catholics of Oz. Thank you, Lindsay. It's been a pleasure. It's been really fun. Thank you guys for 100 episodes. Awesome. And, uh, and Lino, thank you so much also for being part of episode 100 Now celebrations on the Catholics of Oz. Thanks for everyone. But I'm going to try something out. I guess hopefully this works. Look, hold a second, hold a second. All right, here go the headphones. Here comes the hat. There we go. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. And uh, on behalf of the show, I would love to thank Don Bettinelli and the board of SQPN um, who have been behind us and who have supported us and encouraged us in this fortnightly show of ours. We thank you so much. You also energize us. You, you, know, you listen to our crazy ideas such as this and, and so on and let us go ahead with it. So we want to thank you so much. And uh, for episode 100, once again, I'm Lindsay Sands and uh, thank you so much for joining us for episode 100 of The Catholics of Oz. The 
100th episode of the Catholics of Oz. Here's a rap about their show just because. They talk about Jesus, size me, V's, and Divi shows. Lindsay's faith inspires him to share what he knows. Caroline's son's facts are like dynamite. Lena's life is infectious, making the show a delight. They got listeners supporting them, feeling the blessing. Sharing their knowledge and love, they are obsessing. The conversations are deep, they explore. Giving insights and knowledge, they help us grow more. They talk about the heavens as a faithful trio. But it's to God that all the glory they owe. They take us on a journey, like a road trip. Their words and wisdom, like a relationship. Lindsay tells us faith can't help us when we fall. Caroline signs like an education call. Lino brings a joy, he's Australian after all. Together they are a force, like a waterfall. Celebrating this milestone, like a victory. Thanking their supporters, like an honorary. Raising the blast of the future like a prophecy They made 100 episodes, it's their Aussie legacy So listen to this rap dropping truths about the team Episode 100 is their SQP and dream Check it out, we got a milestone in sight An engaging podcast turning the hundred here tonight Spreading wisdom and faith, making the airways feel right Bringing truth to their mice, shedding spiritual light They dropped a sign segment that had us amazed With dinosaurs, mushrooms, and space sign for days From drop barrels to chat, G, P, D, brains Expanding minds with knowledge in these creative ways And let's not forget Dom and the Star Wars board, yo Supporting the team, making sure they glow Behind the scenes, they help the podcast grow The strong foundation, the network, and the know So raise a glass, let's celebrate the century Catholics of us shine bright for all to see With friend of the show, Archbishop commands only They're hitting the mics with God's love and unity Let's raise a glass for this Australian crew Celebrating 100 episodes that they produce Taking the time to record shows for you and me They're a team that keep it real and they do it all for free Lindsay on the mic speaking Holy Spirit pace Inspiring the listeners with his faith and his grace Caroline reserving what the lads are discovering Main signs fun, making our hearts sing Then Lino with the jokes making us all smile Bringing laughter to the show, making it worthwhile Thank you to the paybrounds who support the team They make it all possible that Rowan Star Quest stream. So raise your hands that you feel the good vibes. This podcast is a gem, it's one of a kind. There with the Holy Spirit guiding us through. With a show about fake science, movies, and GB2.